Why are you staring at me? I can see the resemblance. Excuse me? Like father, like daughter. You and Lauren have the same eyes. Okay. Mm, she also has the same taste in clothes, food. How do you know so much about Lauren? Instagram! Thank you. Ma, have you seen that lazy Jay? Is he still sleeping? I haven't seen him. He might be downstairs. Why, you need something from him? Oh, no, nothing. I'll go down first. Okay. Downstairs, ah? Don't mind him, Michael. I didn't think I'm going to see you here today. Well, as Akong says, hey, work is work. You got yourself into a lot of trouble yesterday. Yeah, tell me about it. They don't even know what they're going to do with me yet. Anyway, hey, Uncle Vijesh, I'm really sorry about yesterday, but today... Don't be, Michael. You did what any one of us would do with that information. You're one of us. Ah, uh, but I really messed up big time. I don't even know what I'm doing here. This is exactly what your Uncle Junka used to say when he was working here. I didn't know my Uncle Junka used to work in the factory too. Yeah, when he was your age. He didn't want to, but no choice. Oi, coming or going? Going, going, going. Then go. No, in my way. Okay, okay, fine. Go on, coffee? Yeah, get me a cup of coffee. Okay. Jay! Junkai! He was a good kid. But he didn't stay for long, right? It just wasn't for him. So you think that he's never gonna come back? Actually, there's already a bet going on about this for a few years. And my bet is... No! Hi, Vijesh. Can you help gather all the stuff? We want to have a talk with them to clarify the rumours. And talk about our futures. Michael, your grandfather and mother wants to see you back at the office. There's a car waiting for you outside. Uncle Vijesh. Let's go. Anne. I'm blogging about my birthday party. End of a great year or a birthday to remember. Wow, Shruti. They both actually sound boring. What is she up to? She's completely focused on something else. Ma? Mm -hmm. What are those? Things. I'm just browsing through some bridal magazines. The trends are so different from the time I got married. Ma, you were saying that suit will look good on Anne, right? Shruti. Don't tease your brother, Shruti. Relax, Arjun. These were passed to me by a friend. Just couldn't refuse it. And who is this friend of Ma's? Oh, your mother-in-law to be. Kiran Adi. Hmm. Have you seen Jay? No, I've been looking for him too. Hmm. Strange. Maybe he overslept. Good morning, Auntie Lian. Morning, Sulaiman. Can I order the super breakfast set, please? I just came off a 24 hour shift. I'm super, super hungry. Sure. But can you give me a few minutes, please? Because Zoe's off today and Jay's not around. I'll get Ben to take your orders. Yeah. Ah, Ben, can you help Sulaiman, please? Okay, ma. Yeah. Take your time, until the end. Uh, just try your best, okay? Right. Oh. oh, I need coffee. I'm hungry, babe. I don't have enough. Of course, you were spending like crazy last night. Just wanted everyone to have a good time. 
You're credit card? I left it at home. Might as well go back home, right, babe? Oh. Okay, I'm leaving. What? Are you just going like that? I'm tired, babe. Okay. I'll see you soon. Are you living on? Pa. Huh? Why nobody clear all this thing on? <laughs> Jay. 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 Pa, did you see Jay? No, I said no. It's a breach of confidentiality, a breach of trust. Michael, you have to know what you can discuss with the staff and what needs to be kept within the management. This is very serious, Michael. I'm very disappointed in you. It can never happen again. We want you out of the factory. Listen, I'm, I'm fired? No. You will work at the office. So that we can keep an eye on you. We are cutting your pay. Akong, they need me more at the factory. My girl, just listen to Akong, don't argue. Bro, I need real food, bro. Okay, coming. Hmm? Hey, I don't understand. Jay would tell us if he's taking the morning off for sure. Mm, maybe he's restocking. We are running low on organic goods. Maybe. I'll go make toast for Sulaiman. Not toast. Real food. Lots of it. Real food. <laughs> Can you call Abang Zoom? Ask him mine's coming in today. Okay, ma. Add more chilli, yeah? For a while, let me know. Okay. You look tired. Uh, I'm just a little hungry. Can I order some food? Of course. What would you like to have? Okay. For the appetizers, can I have Otoro, Hokkaido Uni, and for the main course, I'll have Kobe beef, medium rare. And for the drinks, San Pellegrino. Anything for my daughter. Go ahead. Why you have to do something? That wife of yours, she's reading bridal magazines. What do you want me to do? You think she will listen to me? Pa, she's even picked out a wedding suit for me. I know. And she even picked out a matching one for me as well. Pa, this is not funny. This is madness. Arjun, Anne is your mother's dream daughter-in-law. She has been wanting this to happen for a long time. And you know your mum, she's always getting ahead of herself. She's harmless. Harmless? <laughs> pa, what if I don't marry Anne? She's going to be so disappointed. Why? Is there any problem? I thought you and Anne were going along fine. Yes, that doesn't mean I'm going to marry her. Oh, oh. What? 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 <laughs> your mum, she has placed a deposit on the suit. <laughs> You know, I'm glad you and Shruti find this so funny. <laughs> Come on, don't you agree? It's hilarious! <laughs> that is for table 2. 22, 22. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 22, 22. They ordered ice lemon tea. No, guava tea. <laughs> Correct, ma. Uh, uh, order, order. Okay, okay, number ice 6. Ice lemon six. tea. Where's Jay? Kiki, okay, give me this one. Okay, this one is for 19. Wait, wait, I got stand by this tea. Got stand by this tea. Zul! Right. 
What is it? You okay or not? Hiya. No, I'm not. Okay? Juliana bought me to see... Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, this is for number three. Okay, Juliana bought me to, to watch his band last night, okay? And the music is still like... So, how uh, about... Okay. Uh, table seven. Miss Yam. Okay. Yeah, next order. Table three. Miss Yam. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Azul. What? You went deaf, is it? What time I left? Do you know what time I left? She didn't want to go home, so I had to stay with her and went home until midnight. Hey, Dr. Arjun, have you seen a Tan Hock Bing in your hospital? I don't know every single patient that comes in, you know. We referred him from here. Should be on your rotation. I think my father spoke of him. The hernia guy. Yes, and he is my neighbour. He is a very nice man, so you must take good care of him, huh? Sure. I'll give him extra care and concern. Anything for you. VVIP treatment. Thanks for the meal, Dad. No problem. I'm glad I made you happy. Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> Downstairs for shopping, I presume? Yes! I think I saw a shirt that would really look good on you. You know what? Let's stay here. Have a little chat. I want to get to know you better. Me? Mm -hmm. Let's say, what do you like to do other than shopping? How is it like growing up with Helen and Colin? What kind of parents are they? You don't want to talk about it? I do. It's just that I don't know what to say. No one's been interested in my life before. Hmm. I mean, how can that be? I'm sure Helen and Colin are concerned about you. Half the time, they don't even know if I'm home or not. You don't know what it's like living there. Hey, Sayang. The usual hey, please. Sayang. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Call me too. So? Huh? They want the usual set lunch. Okay, okay, can. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't oh. go yet. You want to eat or not? I want, but I want to know about Juliana. So, how are the two of you? Zhu? Oh, what's what you're talking about? Ah, is it Abiao? Ah? I and Juliana went to see a band. That old man is deaf, lah. Zhu? Ben? He's gone slightly deaf after watching the band last night. <laughs> oh. Dave, Juliana, did you hold her hand? Her hand? School the band? What are you talking about? What for I school the band? Jana. Yeah. Jay's gone. What do you mean gone? His room's cleared out and nobody's seen him. He wouldn't have just left without a word, right? He's not answering the phone. He's not responding to messages. And he hasn't contacted any of us. Oh, has he contacted you? No. Maybe there was something he needed to deal with. I'm sure he's fine and he'll call us when he needs to. Yep. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and... Yeah. Okay, I'm fine. Are you worried about Jay? Do you know something that we don't? I don't think he's out running an errand. Then? You want to go upstairs and talk? No. I can't believe that Colin is that kind of man. He's so rich, but you can't believe how stingy he is. He really scrutinizes every single bill. And sometimes, I feel bad to ask him for even the most basic stuff. You know, like for school. That's terrible. 
I've always thought of him as a generous man. That's what he wants everyone to think. It's all about appearances. On the outside, he's like this nice guy. But only mom and I know what he's really like. I'll go get it, Dad. Okay. Daddy? Where is he? What are you doing here? Colin, you didn't come home last night. Your mom and I were worried. And now you're here? You said you're going for tuition. How do you know I was here? Lauren. You told him? I don't know what you're up to. But your mom and I advised you so many times not to have anything to do with this man. Let's go. We'll talk about that at home. I don't want to. I want to stay. He's my real father. What did you tell her? Absolutely nothing. She, on the other hand, has told me many things about you. How it's like growing up in your house, how you drink too much, and how you try to take out a mortgage on the house without asking Helen. Where did you say that? You're always my little girl. What's going on? When did I lose you? Right about when you lost all your money, perhaps? Hmm? Good. You're here. We need to talk. What were you rambling about? What wedding suit? Look, this fake dating thing is not working out for me. I thought it was working really well. <laughs> Too well. Okay? My mother, she's crazy happy about us. Mine too. Right. We need to keep them grounded. I do not want them to get hurt when things between us go bad. You know what I mean? Wait, wait. How long are we going to keep this up? Brian and I want to be together. Okay. But there's no way my parents are going to accept a windsurfing instructor as a son-in-law. Do you really like this guy? Then you have to tell them. Fight them if you have to. You know it's not easy. You didn't put up much of a fight for Diane. I wanted to. But she felt that we... She, she felt that we were not worth fighting for. Why not? You guys were crazy about each other. I am. I mean, I... I was crazy about her. It's just that I think she had someone else. I don't know. You know. You know what? Whatever. It's it's over. All right. What happened? There is something between the two of you, right? I've always detected a USD going on. Unresolved sexual tension. It's resolved. Huh? When? We kissed. Last night. And then? And then we fought. You kiss and then you fight. I said some things I... I shouldn't have said. Some things I didn't mean. But that's normal, you know? That's what couples do. Sulaiman could write a whole book of all the horrible mean things that I said to him that I didn't mean. Maybe this means that we shouldn't be a couple. Since he's gone. Maybe it's not because of the fight. I can't think of any other reason. <laughs> you came to see him because of money? Of course not. I wanted to get to know him. My real father. Do you know what it's like to grow up without knowing who your real father is? You're very good, Lauren. You're a very good actress. If you really want to know me, lesson one, do not try and pull a fast one, because I would know. In any case, if you really wanted me to give you money, I would gladly give it to you. You didn't have to resort to all this. Why didn't you come to me? I have given you everything. You can't afford it anymore, Daddy. All right. Lauren! Hey! You broke her mom's heart. You tried to destroy my company. But she is your daughter. Don't hurt her. Dr. Arjun, new patient, 
Mr. Tan Hock Bang. Can you take a look at him soon? Right, I've been expecting him. My VVIP. Some important so-and-so's relative? A friend of my dad's doing receptionist, so I've been told to be extra doctorly. Um, anything else I should know? Nothing that is already stated in there. It's a hernia. Okay. I'll take a look at him and uh, could you also check if there are slots on Friday for surgery? Sure. I noticed that Michael is back at the office. We decided that it's better for him to work closely with us. No more championing of workers' rights? He stood up for what he thinks is right and fair. Well, he's very lucky to have a cushy position waiting for him here. I mean, you have to admit, with an attitude like that, he'll believe every sob story he hears. I guess that's how it is when you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You have an unrealistic view of this world. He's a sweet boy. Like his mummy. You think so? Mm -hmm. I think it's genetic. Nature, not nurture. I've seen some young people who are brought up in equally well-to-do family. But they turn out to be manipulative. Materialistic and lying bullies. I guess it's in the blood. The hues have gone, the paint has worn, but the feelings in the air. It's really so sick, man. Welcome to my world. How do you even do this every day? Sorry to break this to you, but most jobs are this exciting. Anyway, how's things with you and uh, Suzanne? Morning, Mike. Morning. Does that answer your question?